Okay, I'm going to show you the fastest way to go live using Zoom into your Facebook group now that you can't use the API anymore. So you're going to open a new meeting and in Zoom, of course, and you're gonna go to the more menu, which is the three dots, click on that, and you should see live on custom live streaming service, click on that. If you don't see that, you might not have a pro account. So you do need to have a pro account for this option or you don't have it turned on in your settings. Make sure you do go to settings and turn on the option. So now it's opened the window and it's asking us to provide the streaming URL, streaming key and the live streaming page URL. So we need to go over to our Facebook group in order to get those. So we're going to click here on write something but instead of writing something, we're going to click on the more menu here, which is the three dots in the bottom right. Choose live video. And now it's going to give you two options. You could do this by clicking on the go live or you can create an event. The fastest way is to go live. So that's what I'm going to show you now. I will show you how to create an event in another video. So go ahead and click go live. Do make sure you have it where you want it to go that rather than like your timeline, you want it in your group, make sure you've got it in the right place. So I'm gonna click go live. And we want to choose streaming software rather than webcam. I'm going to choose the stream key here. We're gonna copy that. I want to point out if you click the drop down to the advanced settings, you can toggle on a persistent stream key. That means it's not going to change every time. This stream key is going to be valid for up to four hours. A persistent stream key is not going to change so you can use it time after time. I'm not going to show you that because if you see it, you can copy mine and go live in my Facebook group. And if someone sees yours, they can do the same. So make sure if you do use the persistent stream key, you do keep that secure. I'm going to copy the stream key and toggle back to the Zoom tab and put that in the streaming key. Now back to my Facebook group. I'm going to go back to the advanced settings and choose the server URL and copy that. Toggle back to Zoom put that in the top URL. Now we need the live streaming page URL, which is a little bit of the tricky part. So we need to click on dashboard on the bottom left and then scroll down to the bottom and it'll show you the preview link. You are going to copy that link. I'm going to click view post here and copy that link and put that back in the Zoom tab. Paste that there. You don't need to check the checkbox. Now we're gonna click go live. You'll see here it's preparing to st live stream the meeting. It's going to take just a minute to set it up. It'll let us know when it's ready. All right, we can see that it has redirected us to the Facebook page that we're going live in. And now you can see if I press that play button, it's showing me my Zoom meeting in the Facebook backend. Now we do need to toggle back to Facebook Live Producer and notice that we aren't live just yet. In order to actually go live in your group, you just need to cl click the go live button in the bottom left corner. I didn't add a title, so I will go ahead and add a title live streaming from Zoom updated. All right, now I'll click go live. Now it's showing live video is starting. And now we are live. So this is the preview in the Facebook producer. If I go back to the preview page, it will show you that here we are live in the group. So now I am currently live going in my Facebook group. 
using my Zoom meeting. So you can see back over in Zoom, it's telling me that this meeting is being live streamed. So of course you can do all of the regular things you do in Zoom, like share your screen, and anyone else that's in your meeting on your screen will show up on your screen. Keep in mind that comments that are in Zoom are not visible in Facebook and vice versa. So if people in commenting in Facebook, people on Zoom won't see it. So there are ways to show your comments that will take extra streaming software. But this is our fast, simple way of how to go live in the Facebook group. No more API needed. This is using the service known as an RTMP. You don't need to know that, but in case you do, now you know, and you are all ready to go. To end your live stream, you just click the red button and live video, and you are ready to end your live stream. We are done going live, and now you can choose all your options to delete, return to group, view, you, view your post, all of those things.